So last year I made a video on using these tiny brushless motors as a lazy way of riding on the paddle board. So I used this setup multiple times last year and it works really great. It has been in storage for more than six months and it still works the same as before. So these motors, they didn't have any issues running them underwater. But I would like to make some improvements. First of all, I would like to have some more power. So I got these new motors. So if you see the size difference, they are almost twice as large. These are uh, 660 kV instead of 380 kV. And these are rated for 2 kilowatts. I expect them to perform much better. And I will also experiment with some different propellers. I will use some different shapes and some different sizes to see which one performs the best. Other improvements would be inside this battery box. So this homemade battery, it runs good. It's good enough for these motors, but it doesn't have enough current capacity for these new high power motors. So I need to upgrade the cells and I got these new mole cell P28 cells and these have 25 ampere current rating. So this would be good enough for the new motors. And also this battery box, it doesn't have enough space for the ESC. So the ESC is overheat and I do not have any any way to get the heat out of the box. So sometimes I have to open up the box so that it cools down during use. And also this doesn't have a good enough seal. It is supposed to be waterproof, but I could still see some water gets in sometimes if I drop it in water. So I found a new, much better box. And it has been really tough to find a perfect box for this project. So I got this tool storage box at Home Depot and it has a much better seal it's much thicker and softer and the locks are much better and it is IP67 rated that's almost IP68 so it's going to be really waterproof and it has more space so I can store all the new cells I got it would be around 48 cells I am planning to make these cells into four packs like this. It would be 6P, sorry, it would be 6S and 2P configuration. So it will be around 24 volts. And since it is 2P, I will almost get 40 amperes of current capacity out of each pack. And I will also have a BMS which is rated for 40 amperes. So the next steps would be to figure out how to fit all the batteries and all the electronics inside this new box. My plan is to use four of these. The ESCs would be over here and I will have some connectors for all the battery packs and then the output would be at the center. Yeah, this looks good enough. I got these 80 amperes ESCs. These are small enough to fit inside the box, but these will also generate a lot of heat. So I need some way to get the heat out. That's where I am planning to use these heat sinks. And as you can see, I have made some holes where I can mount the heat sink from outside. And then from the inside, I can mount the ESC on the heatsink. I got the heatsink on uh, with the help of four screws and it is secure enough. Now I need to figure out how to mount this ESC on the heatsink as it needs some pressure to hold it in place. And I cannot put this directly on a metal surface because it will just short the contacts here. So I need to figure out some mechanism that will hold it like this against the heat sink. So I just had the idea of using a spring to put some pressure on the ESC and this works. I just have to make sure that I print this part out of maybe polycarbonate so that it will not melt.
when the AC is get hot. Now I need to make the battery packs. I have organized all the cells in these custom brackets and I'll be using 0.15 millimeter nickel strips and uh, this very basic spot welder. one issue these motors are just too powerful so when I tested them they are drawing more than 120 amperes of current and the ESC and the battery is not able to handle that much of power it's almost uh, 3 kilowatts of power it's per motor so total 6 kilowatts for that small battery pack and those small ESCs uh, that's not going to work so I need to get some lower KV motor and these motors also have 420 kV version so I have ordered them and it's the same dimension so I can just build everything and when I get those new motors I can just replace them so that's my next plan so good news and not so good news I received the new motors uh, 420 kV but they came damaged so now I have to wait uh, for a new order to come in and it's going to be two more weeks so instead of that I will just test the battery box with my old motors and since everything is complete I will quickly walk you through how it works and then I can go to the lake and test it. Now both the ESCs are mounted on the heatsink and those springs are working really well to push the ESCs on the heatsink and you can see the blue silicone sheet that I am using between the ESC and the heatsink. And on the back side you will see I am using uh, a very thick enameled copper wire to connect all the batteries in parallel. And there is also the receiver that is getting the power from uh, this ESC. And I have connected cables from both the ESCs to the receiver. And the cables are routed from the bottom so, so everything stays neat and clean. So I store it like this, I just disconnect the cables from the ESC and whenever I am using them I just connect the ESCs. Almost 3 kilograms, mm, that's not bad. So I have set it up uh, with the old motors that I had and it definitely is more powerful. That's because the, the battery is now 6S instead of 5S.
so the first run went very well nothing went up in flames so that is good and i ran it for around 15 minutes at max power and the heat sinks got a little bit warm and i'm not sure if uh, the heat sinks should get warm since these escs are rated for 70 amperes and my max current draw was around 22 amperes but i will still do some more testing with these escs and i got some different motors now and also different propellers and then i'll see how how it performs with uh, with more powerful motors and now there is one more improvement i have a display which is based on an esp32 microcontroller and it reads the telemetry data from the esc so i can check the voltage and also it can show me what is the temperature of the esc and i can see the battery capacity what is left so that will be very helpful i'll put a link to the parts that i used for making this in the description and hopefully this video helps someone who is trying to build something similar and keep checking my channel so you can get updates on the testing of these new propellers